Reality TV's Eustace Conway found himself in a real-world drama. I had to fight the government for 10 months just for the chance to live. Watauga County inspectors raided Conway's Turtle Island Preserve in North Carolina after complaint about alleged illegal building. For decades, Conway has been teaching people on his thousand-acre compound in the Blue Ridge Mountains how to go off the grid, what he calls natural living. He's one of the stars of the History Channel's Mountain Men. It's a plastic society. We don't even eat real food anymore. After the raid, local officials declared the primitive buildings and outhouses unsafe. They told Conway to retrofit or tear them down. I can't believe that a whole nation of people think that this is the land of the free when we can't hardly even take a poop the way we want to. Supporters flocked to Conway's aid, comparing the inspectors to Nazis and appealing to state lawmakers to step in. They did passing a law to exempt so-called primitive camps and farms from state building codes. In late June, Conway was back in business. I really look at uses as if he's an American treasure. Planning Director Joe Furman says he was only doing what the law required. He declined to go on camera. But a local contractor who's worked with Turtle Island says it's wrong to paint local officials as the bad guys. It's not necessarily big government trying to oppress you. It's them trying to create a safety net. And now that net has a hole big enough for a mountain man to squeeze through. Alan Breed, Associated Press, Triplet, North Carolina.